SB Cubs baseball channel breaking news. Pete Crow Armstrong is going to join the Cubs for the stretch run. Finally, Hollywood Pete, the spark that this team needed against Arizona that they didn't have, a guy who has this amazing ability to score runs, is going to the show, and he'll try to help the Cubs make the postseason. We're going to get into that. I'm going to tell you a little bit about Pete Crow Armstrong, but first, if you aren't already, become part of the channel. If you're already one, hey, thank you guys, but like, subscribe, give us a thumbs up. This is the Cubs Baseball Channel. All right, yeah, the uh, news just broke. Jeff Passan reporting that Pete Crow Armstrong, the guy that I nicknamed Hollywood because of his amazing ability to play baseball and this just this Hollywood demeanor, is going to join the Cubs, and I think they really, really need him right now. I think this is a great time for the Cubs to make this move. Uh, they play Colorado 740 Coors Field tonight and tomorrow. Passan saying that he'll be there tomorrow. Um, this is, I think this is the kind of move that the Cubs need right now. The offense had a lot of trouble scoring runs, and Pete Crow Armstrong is a run-scoring machine. He's better than anyone on the Cubs roster, I'd say, right now uh, at running the bases and, and, and scoring. Now, I'm not saying he's a uh, Ricky Henderson type you know, threat to steal. I'm just saying running the bases. I, I joked with Doug Desenzo, the former Cub and the Cubs minor league base running coordinator, that it's like Pete Crow Armstrong has x-ray vision. He just can see something happen before it does. He's not going to wait around. If the ball kicks by the catcher, he's getting the second base. Three feet, eight feet, 10 feet, 12 feet. The guy just knows how to do it. And he's going to he's going to force the opposition starting in Colorado to pay attention to him if he's on base. He's a he's a blend of speed, power, and this ability to score runs. I don't know how it's going to look right now. You know, he he struggled in Iowa when he first got there, and then over the last couple of games, he's hit the cover off the ball. You know, three and four hits a game, and that's what we saw in Double A Tennessee, where I watched a lot of Pete Crow Armstrong. Um, he's a great defender. He won the gold glove last year in the minor leagues, might win it again this year. He's a center fielder. He can play the corner spots, but really where you want to put him to utilize his ability is in center field. What makes him a great center fielder? Well, it first off, it's anticipation. He just has this Sam Fold type of ability to think of where the ball is going to go off the crack of the bat. He's got tremendous speed, Tony Campana type speed where he can make up ground in, in a hurry, uh, not quite as fast as uh, the Cheetah, but in that neighborhood. He's really, really fast. And um, he takes playing defense very seriously. Uh, uh, Cubs third-ranked prospect outfielder Owen Casey, who's become really good at defending in right field, told me that it was watching how seriously Pete Crow Armstrong takes playing defense that – inspired him to get better at it. And he's a really good defender, but Pete's one of the best out there. Um, he's got the it factor. We talked to Tim Wilkin, and these are all videos that you can see here on the Cubs baseball channel. Tim Wilkin, longtime uh, scouting director for different teams, including the Cubs in the past. And he said, if I had it to go back over and do again, I would add in scouting the, the it factor, the ability to play the game, the fire that you, you bring, that you make, things happen factor that's what Pete Crow Armstrong does when he's playing remember Pete Crow Armstrong was the guy that the Cubs traded at the deadline from the Mets for Javi Baez and then it, he had to work through an injury he's been healthy this year and he has been really good let's take a look at his stats okay Pete Crow Armstrong stats uh double and triple a I saw him a ton with the Smokies you guys know that then he went to Iowa and um, he played for the AAA affiliate. And all he's done is put up great numbers. Uh, five tool type numbers. Although I would say maybe the weakest tool for me is his arm. And it's not that he has a bad arm, but he doesn't have a plus arm. But still, it's good enough. Uh, the batting average, 283. 21 years old, playing in double and AAA and hitting 283. That's Chris Bryant, Javi Baez type stuff. Kyle Schwarber, all, all the elite prospects, right? 20 home runs, 82 runs batted in. He's hit leadoff most of the year, but he is still driven in runs. Uh, he's got this these hands to ball, bat speed, 
eye to hand quickness that's elite. Uh, I described him as very Bryce Harper ish, just with this, with the the hand to eye speed, and then the intensity that he plays the game with. He's going to throw his helmet. He's going to get. Mad. He wants to win every single thing that he does, and. Um, I got a feeling that at first some of the guys that are veterans aren't going to like it, and then when he wins them a couple of games with the things that he does, they're going to love this guy being on the team. Long term, he's going to be a great fit for the Cubs. But here's what I think the Cubs need it most, and that's runs. We saw it against Arizona. They looked old and slow at times. You can't win a World Series. You can't win in the playoffs when you can't win those close games. Right now, the Cubs have done a great job all year winning close games. I mean, you look at their one run game record. But what Arizona showed you is that with with if you get in these close games, look at Corbin Carroll is at the top of their lineup. Guy gets on base, steals second. Your catcher throws it in the center. He's at third with no outs. And then he scores on a ground ball. Right. You know, uh, uh, it, it puts pressure on the pitching. Cubs didn't have an answer for that. Now they do with Pete Crow Armstrong. This is why I've been saying, hey, get this guy to the big leagues now. I can't make David Ross play him. Alexander Canario got there and sat the bench. But Pete Crow Armstrong's a guy you can put on base. You know, you can pinch run him. So if you don't trust him to play, uh, which I don't know why you wouldn't, but if you don't, at least you can use him as a, a as a pinch runner. And um, look at the stat right there. He scores a run about every single game. He's got 98 runs scored in 107 games. How does he do this? Well, I'm going to tell you a couple of stories, Okay. First, bases loaded, one out, Smokies are playing in Chattanooga. Guy hits a ground ball, routine ground ball, to the second baseman. Catches the ball, throws to the shortstop. All right, how many runs do you think you score on that? Every game that I've watched, all 3,000 and the games i played, and at every baseball game I've ever been around, you get one run, right? Not with Pete Crow Armstrong. He scored from second base on that. That By the time they turned around, the guy at second got the ball and thought about going to first, but he wasn't going to get the double play. Pete Crow Armstrong was already scoring. It's the most amazing ability to score. He just saw that, hey, you know what? These guys haven't been paying attention. I'm going to jump them. Uh, Base hits when he's at first base in the gap. Even if it's a single for the batter, he's scoring. He's putting pressure on the defense. We saw him do that uh, numerous times. One of the most unbelievable things that I think I'll ever see, and I told him this, and you guys can watch the video right here on the Cubs Baseball Channel, our exclusive interview that we had with Pete Crow Armstrong a couple weeks ago. He had a 16-pitch at bat and ended up hitting a grand slam. So this guy has, let me go back to it again, the it factor. And I'm glad that the Cubs are giving him a chance. So we'll see what happens. But uh, the breaking news is that Pete Crow Armstrong is going to the Chicago Cubs and he's going to join the Cubs and he'll be part of the team. I don't know what the roster move is yet. I just saw the tweet from Jeff Passan. I thought that he would have been up there sooner, but he did struggle at Iowa. Hey, he's figured it out. And I was just looking at his stats yesterday where he's gotten, you know, four for five and three for six and all. He's just starting to hit the ball there. And I'm sure what it was was just making the adjustment to the different pitching. You know, not that he has a whole lot of weaknesses, but he'll be a little bit too aggressive sometimes. You know, maybe he needs to take a few more pitches, use the entire field. And something that we saw him do a little bit of that may help him in the big leagues too is to bunt. You know, he, he's a, he's so fast, and, um, you know, when he lays down bunts, he can be dangerous as well. So, anyway, Cubs play – Colorado, the next three games, look for Pete Crow Armstrong, Hollywood Pete, to be on the team, according to reports. And I think this is really, really exciting for the Chicago Cubs. Again, guys, thanks for being here. We'll keep you updated on what's going on with the team. Uh, Like and subscribe. Give us a thumbs up. And thank you for being here today. Go Cubs.